Hi everyone! So this is the full length version of all the stuff that I got in Beverly Hills. All the goodies that Jamie Greenberg gave me as well as a few things, very few things that I picked up myself. I thought I would do a lot of shopping but honestly after the stuff that Jamie brought me kinda didn't need to. Anyway so I'm gonna start with the non makeup related stuff starting with my t-shirt. I always like to get souvenir t-shirts that are less touristy looking but still remind me of where I went so we picked this up on Venice Beach and it's just a peace sign with Venice Beach on it so it's kind of subtle um, but it reminds me of where I was and I love this color you may have noticed I'm wearing a lot of light blue stuff in all of my videos so I love this I've worn it out with a black blazer thrown over it and black pants and dressed it up a little bit but today I'm just wearing it with jeans so then I went to and you you followed me on Twitter or Facebook you've seen a lot of pictures but I did like a housewife tour basically, so I went to um, Kyle from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I went to her store in Beverly Hills, and here's the bag, and it's full of all the stuff that mostly that Jamie sent me. Walked around her store, and it's a beautiful store. Not exactly my taste in the clothing. Like I can appreciate that they're nice, but they're just not my style. But I did find this top, and I couldn't resist, and um, it's a vintage. Blonde, well, it's not. It's a vintage style. Blondie t-shirt, Blondie the the group, not Blondie the hair. But it goes with the hair, so I just picked it up. I thought it was cute. I got it in a medium. It is the softest cotton you'll ever feel. It's kind of funky. It's got this weird cutout thing going on in the back. I got it in a medium. I should have gotten it in a small, but it's roomy. I can throw it in the dryer. I don't have to worry about ruining it. And they folded it in this really cool, you know how I like skulls. So this is the paper that it comes in with the skulls from her store. Love it. I just, I had to show you that. Okay, so now on to all the goodies, the stuff that I know you want to see. Um, so Jamie Greenberg came to my hotel room at the Beverly Hilton and did my makeup, which eventually will be on her channel if it's not already there. And before she came, she called and said, hey, um, is there anything that you need? And I, I couldn't figure out what she was talking about. And I said, well, no, I'm, I'm good, thanks. And she's like, no, 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 product. Are there any products that you need? And again, I'm thinking, what am I supposed to give her, a laundry list? No, I'm fine. I just want to see you. She shows up with swag. Amazing stuff. Okay, so one of the things she got me was this. It's by Malibu, and it's their B5 Face and Body Moisture Mist, which is really handy for the summer. And it's a vitamin-infused moisturizing you know mist for when you get hot I'm not hot but oh and you can it smells wonderful it's instantly cooling I like it I get really dry even in the summer so I can wash my face spritz this on and then layer moisturizer over it so love love this and it smells really California you know like fresh anyway then she shows up with the Josie Marin whipped argan oil body butter and I've used this a few times and as you can see, I've gone to town on this. Another light, fresh scent. Really like this after the shower. Love that. It's living up to the hype. Uh, she also brought me, and I'd never tried any of this stuff before, so it's kind of exciting. Fresh Peony Brightening UV Shield SPF 50. So this is a moisturizer with a pretty heavy-duty SPF in it. Uh, Jamie likes to use this under makeup because it doesn't pill the foundation. So it's... Um, interesting. I will save this for days when I know I'm going to really be outside. I need a lot of coverage. It has a little tint to it and goes on kind of whitish and it has a faintly faint herbal scent to it that I'm not sure I dig but it does go away once it's on. And what's cool about this is not only does it protect you from the sun but it's supposed to even skin tone and brighten you know, kind of get rid of dark spots. So that is cool. And I have used it a number of times. And I like it. And my skin likes it. She also brought me, and I've been using this a lot, uh, it's the MAC Prep and Prime Vi Vibrancy, I can speak, eye primer. And uh, a little goes a long way. And I've been using this, alternating this, in place of regular primer. And you can. what's nice about this is you can even put it under your eyes. So that much, I spread like this between two fingers, and that's more than enough for two eyes. And I find this to be very um, moisturizing, but it dries kind of to like a powdery finish. I'm going to put it on the other hand. 
and um, I, I really like it. Um, I kind of use this as a daily eye cream in the morning too, and I haven't used this yet. It's the Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Serum by Tatcha. I haven't used it yet. I just got all the stuff and I'm slightly overwhelmed. Grateful, but slightly overwhelmed. So I want to make sure I use each product, give my skin a little time to get used to it before I throw something else at it. So pretty packaging and I'm not, it's a shake gently before use. It's from Japan. It, I guess it's hydrating and firming serum. It has a little pump, it has no discernible odor. I think, oop, looks like that. I'm being very ignorant. I understand that. I have done no research on this. It's a clear serum, jelly kind of substance. Faint, clean scent. The back of my hand is going to be very firm and hydrated. So I haven't tried that yet, but it looks amazingly cool. Okay, then you saw in the video she brought me, let's see if I can get all of them out here for you. I unpackaged them. The Patty Dubroff Perfect Nudes Lip Gloss, which I really like for, um, sorry, I want to get them all up. Really like for layering. Um, but actually, I've been wearing this one by itself. I will very quickly swatch these because I think you can only get them at Costco. So this is the Nude Glow. Um, remember, these are nudes. Where is it? So, you know, they're sheer. They're not opaque. So if you're a very subtle kind of person, you're going to like it. This is the Nude Honey. Like I said, I think these are great for enhancing lipstick. Ooh, this one's pretty opaque though. I haven't tried this one yet. I like. Look at that. That's really pretty. Um, haven't tried this one yet. Nude Kiss. The next one I have. And that is, ooh. Okay, so only the first one is sheer. Really. That's Nude Kiss. And then the last one, which I have been using, is Nude Sugar. Let me get that one for you. It's a little, kind of like a nudie, mauve your lip, my lips, but better kind of color right there on the top. So I really have enjoyed these a lot, and I've primarily been layering them over lipstick, but um, I would, if it wasn't so windy, I would wear them outside, but it's been pretty windy here lately. Okay, then... I'm so excited. I'm saving the most exciting thing for last. She gave me three of these awesome lipsticks from Avon. I am so getting into this Avon Mark thing. Like, I'm very, very pleased that Jamie introduced me to this stuff. These are all their absolute ultra color or something like that. In the video, I am, and I'll link all this below. In the video, I am wearing this Caring Coral, which she applied, I think, with her finger or a lip brush and basically muted it so that it was... Not so obvious, but this is it full strength. And then this is Tea Rose. I'm saving my favorite for last. And Tea Rose is sort of like a, hmm, like a off red, very wearable. But then this one's my favorite because it's on trend. It's pure orchid. And I have been rocking this a lot. There's a nice little divot going on in this. And it is in that it's a deeper, it kind of reminds me of MAC Rebel, but I think way more wearable. I've been wearing it a lot, and it's right there. So those are the Avon lip colors. But then she also gave me these All Butter Now Lip Treats from MARC. They're their lip butter kind of things. And the only criticism I have is that the packaging, the writing is teeny tiny. Actual packaging is very cute. One of these is Pop-Tarts, and one of these is Baby Me. Okay. I think... Okay, this is Pop-Tart, which is a really bright, fun pink that I've been wearing a lot. And then Baby Me is a very baby pink, very wearable. And it looks like that. Come here. There we go. So those are those. Those are those. There you go for the lip stuff. And then... There's a few more things. I was admiring this foundation brush she was using, and I said, oh, you know, I've never really used one of these before, like this kind. She goes, oh, here, take it. So this is the Avon foundation brush. She used this um, to put on the foundation, and I'm so used to those big buffing brushes, so I'm excited to try that. And then this has become my favorite, um, the MARC Touch and Glow Shimmer Cream Cubes All Over Face Palette in Warm Glow. It's from MARC. Mark 
products are they're pretty awesome. There's a cheek color she used on me in the video that I need to order because I really liked it. And I don't know what it's called, but it's like Blooming Highlighter or something, and it's yellow. It's a round blush, and it has yellow, like a yellow flower with a pink center. And then you swirl it together and you put it in. It's beautiful, and I love it. Okay, this is what that looks like. I love it. Give me that. Thank you. So I have talked about how much I like the Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner Pencils, but I have not tried this one before. I don't know if it's new, but she put this on me in the video, and I love it. It's their new, or it's new to me. It's called Cobalt, and it is the just, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. It, it's, I don't think that the camera is giving it justice, but it's just blue enough that when I put it on my top lashes, it's not an in-your-face crazy blue. It's a very wearable blue, but it does give a little color to an all-neutral look. I love it. And once this sucker sets, it's not going anywhere. So I better wipe it off now or I'm going to be having blue hands all day. Then, yes, there's more. This woman is crazy. And the whole time she's going, oh, I should have brought you this. And I'm going, are you nuts? This is way too much already. Okay, so when she was laying out all of her goodies, to do her makeup. I said, oh my God, is that Tom Ford? I've never seen it because where I live, Neiman Marcus sells Tom Ford lipsticks and fragrance and I think nail polish. That's it. So no eyeshadow, no actual makeup. So I've never, I've seen Tom Ford or you've seen it on YouTube, but I've never seen it in person. And she whips out all this stuff. I was like, oh my gosh. She goes, oh, you want it? Okay. So she gave me the Tom Ford. She goes, do you care if it's a little used? I'm like, no, I really don't. I don't care. Just Hand it over. So the Tom Ford Bronzing Powder in O2 Terra. I have been using this, like I, I made a dent already. I have been using the living out of this. It is the most easy to use. Like I get why it's ridiculously expensive. I can't, I'm heavy handed with bronzer. I'm always messing it up. I get that. Um, I take my big duo fiber brush and I go all over my face with this and for you white, white, white people like me, like I am so white. She brought Tom Ford um, foundation to use on me. Their lightest shade was too dark. That I'm like, I'm glowing. I can see the reflection in the camera. This stuff is great. Great, great, great for us paley, paley people. So loving that. And then this is the Tom Ford eyeshadow quad in golden mink. And I think this is what she used on, I'm pretty sure this is what she used, at least some of this on my, I don't even know it. It was like a blur. These colors are beautiful, um, but the ones that are just, I've never seen anything quite like it is this shade right here. This is, this is actually golden mink, I believe. And it looks like nothing exciting. I get that. Um, but on my lids, this is all I put on, just all the way up, up to the crease and blend it a little and then take this darker shade and just do a little bit along the lash line and blend it up. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I forgot to mention, and I forgot to bring it with me because it's in my purse, but the Stay Glossy Stain that, um, it's stay, stay Glossy Gorgeous Lip Stain that we talked about in the video is what I'm wearing right now. She also gave me that. And it's an awesome color. And as you can see, it just fades very nicely. So, whoo, huh. That is a lot of stuff. That was a huge haul. Most of it was gifts, which is really sweet of her. So, Jamie. I thanked you profusely in person, but I'm thanking you again. It was the most amazing YouTube experience I've had thus far, and personally, just an awesome experience. Not, one, not just to get my makeup done by a celebrity makeup artist who truly deserves that title. Like, there is a huge difference from getting your makeup done by someone at a makeup counter versus a celebrity makeup artist. Like, they are, she is a genius, and she deserves the title, and Wow, like, I cannot tell you, I'm doing this like up in the stratosphere, amazing, talented woman. All that aside, genuinely nice, freaking hysterical, wonderful, down to earth person. Like Jamie and I, that was the first time we'd met in person. I felt like I've known her my whole life. What you see is what you get in her videos. That woman is loving life and she loves everyone that she comes in contact with and she's just the happiest, sweetest person and it was truly, truly an honor to be in the same room with her. So thanks, Jamie, for that experience. I hope we get to do it again sometime. Anyway, that is it. That's my haul. I'm losing my voice. I feel like I've been talking forever. I'm gonna just thank you so much for watching. Hope that um, 
you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions or suggestions on how to use this stuff, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.